people. We're back with indie news once again. It, it happens at least weekly. Usually. But not last week. Not last week. That's why I said usually, at least weekly. Uh, I'm doing a lot of talking right now because this guy's voice is less than 100%. It's almost down. Uh, so I'm just going to jump right into results. Uh, this Thursday, Beyond Wrestling had a show. That's right, they had a show on Thursday. Party Animals. Party Animals from Providence, Rhode Island at the Aurora, not Fat Music. Uh, Chris Hero defeated Keith Lee. Uh, the team of Bro Steel, that's Matt Riddle and Chuck O'Neill, defeated Team Tremendous via submission. Pinky Sanchez defeated Tracy Williams. The Hit Squad defeated Jaka and Chris Dickinson. Kimber Lee defeated Donovan Dijak. Uh, Veda Scott and Sonya Strong defeated Jordan Grace and Karen Q, who was her mystery partner. Uh, John Silver defeated Joey Janela. David Starr defeated Jonathan Gresham to defend the WXW Shotgun Championship. And then the American Destroyers defeated Death by Elbow in the main event. <laughs> On Friday the 30th, we had two shows. The first of which was AAW's Unstoppable from Marionette Park, Illinois. Where Homicide easily defeated Connor Braxton. I don't know, but I just assume it was easy. Uh, Congo Kong and Marcus Crane defeated Jake and Dave Crist. Uh, Michael Elgin won a four corners match against Matt Fitchett, Desmond Xavier, and he beat Paco to do it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Drew Galloway defeated Jeff Cobb. Pentagon Jr. defeated Chris Hero, who then would go on to cut a promo saying he doesn't know what his future holds. Uh, Colt Cabana and Chuck Taylor. Defeated Silas Young and Davey Vega. Imagine Colt Cabana and Chuck Taylor as a team. I'm more curious as to why Silas Young and Davey Vega were attacking. Who knows? Uh, Heidi Loveless defeated Kimber Lee, and then Heidi would go on to give a farewell speech to the crowd at AAW. ACH defeated AR Fox to become the new AAW Heritage Champion. Yeah, go ACH. And Sammy Callahan defeated Phoenix to retain the AAW title. Hey. And then we had AIW in Cleveland, Ohio, and they gave us the Jelly of the Month Club. With that they did. Sean Schultz defeating Mike Tolar, whoever those guys are. Uh, BJ Whitmer defeated Dominic Greeny. PB Smooth defeated Eddie Kingston. The Jollyville Fuckets defeated the Carnies. Tracy Williams defeated the Laredo Kid. Sanjay Dutt and Joey Janela in a four corners match. The Hornswoggle, Swoggle, Dylan Possible, The Big Deal. All those guys. All one person. Swaggle defeated Britt Baker. Alex Daniels defeated Matt Cross to retain the intense championship. And then instead of having Josh Prohibition defending the absolute title against Raymond Rowe, Raymond Rowe would go on to defeat Tim Dots one on one. It would be announced that the Prohibition title match would take place at a later date. Yeah, we don't have any details as to why Prohibition wasn't able to show up, though. If you know, <clears throat> post in the comments. Please that's it for results. ROH wasn't on Saturday nope. because it was New Year's. Yeah. And around that midnighty time, there's lots of excitement and shit happening on the television. And there's, yeah, there's people playing music and shit. So there wasn't any Ring of Honor. So we'll talk about that next week. Um, news, though. We got some news. We do have some news. Um, so, I mean, it's been talked about since uh, her showing up at uh, NXT TakeOver. But we can officially announce now, as of the 22nd, this was uh, this was put out on the internet, that Mickey James has signed a three-year deal with WWE, and it looks like she's going to be heading to SmackDown. So, yeah. good for SmackDown. Sucks for Raw, because I think Raw is going to be the one that needs a little bit more attention on their women's division, but we don't write WWE. Uh, we also had uh, Rolling Stone put out their top ten wrestlers of the year. Uh... We had uh, Enzo and Cass at number 10, Seth Rollins, uh, The Miz, Heath Slater, Kevin Owens, Goldberg, Sasha Banks, Chris Jericho, Charlotte Flair, and AJ Styles. Quite the list there. Um, and then finally, for those of you that uh, watched 205 Live, if you watched this past week's episode, you saw we were supposed to have Mustafa Ali versus uh, Mr. 450. Uh, but unfortunately, during the match, somehow he blew out his knee. And yeah, it wasn't really like a visible thing while the match no, was going on. It just kind of happened. And, but you could see, like, you didn't see, like, I because I didn't see, like, when it happened, but I, you could see the after effect. Yeah. Was very 
prominent versus the actual moment itself. Yeah, and you know, kudos to him. Because it was super early. Yeah, the, the match didn't last very long, but kudos to him because he kept trying to go with the match despite having to keep his leg completely straight. And, and even the referee like kept trying to like and he talk kept, to him. He kept telling like, him, he's like, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good, you know, don't, don't worry about it. So, but unfortunately, because he was extra talent, he's not under WWE contract, therefore... People stop complaining that WWE isn't going to help him with his shit because he's not a contracted wrestler. That's how that works. He was working as he was working as a part time, and they have no jurisdiction over that. So unfortunately, that leaves him in a very tough spot. Mm -hmm. So uh, Lindsay Dorado actually took to Instagram and posted that he's going to be selling autographed masks, uh, and all the proceeds are going to help. Uh, Mr. 450 with his medical bills uh, since he'll be out of work and he won't I mean, he'll be out for I believe um, pro probably six to eight months I would imagine uh, maybe even longer you know we know how long it took Seth Rollins to come back don't know the actual severity of the injury but yeah you can buy autographed masks from Lindsay Dorado uh, there's a GoFundMe uh, I should put it in the description uh, but it's GoFundMe.com slash Mr450's medical expenses. Uh, and then you can also uh, get uh, uh, ring-worn gear by Taya Valkyrie. She's going to be selling that and uh, putting up money towards Mr. 450's bills as well. Well, go buy a t-shirt from him off of Pro Wrestling TV. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's got a store on there. Go on there. I'm so, pretty sure he does. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll post links. Uh, if I you know wanna, he sells merch. Uh, if you want to send money to Mr. 450 or if you want a Lindsay Dorado mask or Taya Valkyrie links. worn outfits... Links click, down um, in the click, description. Um, I'll probably make a donation on behalf of the Wrestling Rundown. Yes. Um, I got a quickie. Okay. Kurt Angle is reportedly, and by reportedly I mean just himself saying to he's other one promoters uh, that he's going back to WWE in April. What else is happening around April? April Club, oh, isn't that like a WrestleMania? Yeah, that, that might be a WrestleMania. Uh, basically, he's got like two more huge upcoming things that are being promoted for him, another match against Cody Rhodes, and a match against Alberto El Patron in March. He's telling the promoters post those matches he's not taking any more independent bookings hmm. uh, because he says he's heading to WWE. There is absolutely zero buzz from the WWE camp that Kurt Angle is to be returning there, but if that's the case... Uh, then they could be just doing a really good job of hiding the fact that they're bringing Kurt back. You know, uh, because they did it with Shane last year. Yeah, right, right around you know, right early before WrestleMania, he just so started, Shane McMahon appears out of nowhere. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, you know, D WWE has this moments where they're really good at keeping things under wraps. Uh, it does kind of strike me though that. They're doing such a good job, and Kurt's just fucking telling people. <laughs> yeah, he's not really helping the situation, but I mean, I, I I wouldn't mind seeing Kurt Angle back. There's you know there's quite a few guys I could see him wrestling, but I can't imagine he's got too many more years on him, uh, considering he's almost in his fifties. Yeah. Uh, so you know he's I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll we'll I guess we'll hit more on it as. Uh, more information comes along, or if we actually see him show up around many of them. Yeah, also, oh, another thing that I remembered is uh, over the weekend, uh, Devon Dudley announced officially his retirement from professional wrestling. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 he's uh, he's working as an agent with WWE now. Yeah, uh, he, had a, he had a, I think it was a tag match, him and Bubba yeah. versus somebody over the weekend. It was uh, versus the Hardys. And they announced, oh, and it's the Hardys and EYFBO in a three-way match. Oh, okay. Uh, and then he put over the Hardys and... Edge and Christian and announces saying, you know, he's hanging it up. He's had a good run, you know, 20 years. Yeah. Plus. And, uh, so good for him. Yeah. No, yeah, I mean. Moving on to the next step of his life, which is, yeah, probably a road agent for WWE. Yeah, or no, he's, he's been back backstage, you know, as a, as a, you know, just a, a backstage hand at Raw many times. Uh, so, I mean. Now we're going to see him help try and break up fights. Cool. It won't just be Dean Malenko and Billy Kidman anymore. Yeah. Um, I think that's it for news. That's what I got for news. <clears throat> well. Which I didn't even have any of that written down. That just popped into my brain parts. You know it happens, man. But you know what happens now? Uh, a thing called... Upcoming! Upcoming.
shows. Uh, where I'm actually going to start. Because on Wednesday, New Japan Pro Wrestling presents Wrestle, Wrestle Kingdom, Kingdom 11. Uh, from the Tokyo Dome in Tokyo, Japan. Oh, oh! I thought it was the Tokyo Dome that's in Kyoto. Japan. No, 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 it's de definitely the one in Tokyo. And it's not the Tokyo Dome in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, you know, I thought that wasn't uh, finished yet. I thought they were still oh. building that. I could be wrong, uh, but no, it is in fact. And the it's Tokyo not the Dimmsdale Dome. Dome. <laughs> that's a anyway, uh, we have or the Big Fish. We have eleven matches set for this set Dude. of the show. You gotta have all the belts on the line. All the belts on the line. You gotta have all the important people. Lots of stuff. I hope happen. I hope they pre-show it with another thirty-person old man rumble. Well, go figure. Because the first match is the New Japan Rumble, <laughs> uh, including oh, names gosh. like uh, Hiroyoshi Tenzan, Jushin Thunder Liger, Manabu Nakanishi, Raisuke Taguchi, Tiger Mask, Yuji Nagata, and surprise entrance. Surprise. <laughs> uh, so yeah. I bet one of them is a bacon. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so you get Derek that. Motherfucking Togo. Uh, now uh, our second match on here is Tiger Mask W versus Tiger the Dark. I'm not sure who either of those people are. Myself, are they like the current versions of Tiger Mask, or are they actually Tiger Mask W? I'm pretty sure is the current version of Tiger Mask. Uh, Tiger Mask Dark. Is another is somebody in New Japan who's fucking with Tiger Mask. Oh, okay, cool. I think it might be. I don't remember who it is, but it is it's somebody fucking with Tiger Mask, and I think it might be one of the guys. Are all the members of uh, the Ungovernables? Yes. In matches. Yes, they are. Because I think whoever it is is might be like aligning themselves with the Ungovernables. Okay, I mean, or well, potentially with the you know Bullet what? Club. It would make sense because Kamaitachi just joined the Ungovernables, and I don't think he has a match. I think it is Kamaitachi. So I think it's Kamaitachi. Well, for, well, uh, I'm. I mean, I know I'm going to be watching Wrestle Kingdom, so I'll, we'll find out eventually. Uh, the Young Bucks are going to be defending the IWGP Junior Junior Tag Team Titles against uh, Rapongi Vice. Uh, we have a gauntlet match for the Never Openweight six-man tag team titles. Uh, the champions, David Finley, Ricochet, and Satoshi Kojima, defend against the Bullet Club's Bad Luck Fale, Hangman Page, and Yujiro Takahashi. Uh, Chaos will be represented by Jado, Will Ospreay, and Yoshihashi. And the Ungovernables will be uh, uh, represented by Ibushi, Evil, and Sonata. Uh, Cody Rhodes makes his New Japan debut along with his Bullet Club debut as he takes on Juice Robinson in a singles match. Uh, Adam Cole, baby, gets his ROH Championship rematch against Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, the Gorillas of Destiny will defend the IWGP uh, heavyweight tag team titles against Chaos's Tomohiro Ishii and Toriyano and uh, Togi Makabe and Tomoki Honma. Uh, Kushida defends the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championships, uh, a championship against uh, Hiromo Takahashi. Ugh. Gonna make it through this. Uh, the Never Openweight Championship is on the line. Kasiyori Shibata defends against Hiroki Goto. Tetsuya Naito defends the IWGP Intercontinental Championship against Hiroshi Tanahashi. Uh, and then in the main event, Kazuchika Okada defends the IWGP Heavyweight Championship against Kenny Omega. Holy shit. <clears throat> That's on Wednesday. Uh, so, it'll be on, like, Wednesday, like, 3 a.m. for us, because that's, like, 1 p.m. Japan time. Uh, so, yeah, if you have the chance, if you have the ability, check out uh, Wrestle Kingdom. We watched the last, what, two? Nine? Yeah. Nine and ten, they've been fucking awesome. Uh, we'll I probably we'll probably say something about yeah them. I, yeah we'll 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 mention results uh, at at least at least on Indie News next week so, if not give it its own full review exactly so it's that's something a, that deserves a review but that's all I got it's like Japan's WrestleMania so it really is and it's awesome your turn because I can't talk anymore all right we got a couple more upcoming shows Saturday the seventh we got two of them Attack Pro Wrestling our buddies over in the UK I mean the UK. Uh, in Wolverhampton, they're giving us hashtag WrestleHouse uh, with Pete Dunne and Dan Maloney taking on Mustache Mountain and hashtag CCK going against Mandrews and Ryan Smiles. Potentially now that they have Bolarama as the new tag team champions, 
they're looking probably to see what teams will step up to become the next number one contenders. Yeah. Uh, so there's four teams all kind of potentially having the chance to impress and become number one contenders there. Uh, and then AAW Presents Tradition Continues at LaSalle, Illinois, where we have uh, the besties, Davey Vega and Matt Fitch, are taking on the Hooligans, Jessica Havoc taking on Taya, and Sammy Callahan defending the AAW title against Johnny Mundo Hennig and Nitro Morrison. Yes. The third. <laughs> the third. Uh, that's it. That's all we got. Those are the only matches that they're announced so far. Yeah. And Marion Fontaine will be there. And that's important because he has a mustache. Oh, he's got a, the best mustache. <laughs> I don't even know if he still has it. I haven't seen him before. I'm sure he does. Mary Fontaine, if you don't have that mustache still, I'll be so sad. His whole world will fall apart. I will cry myself to sleep tonight. But that's okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Click all the links down in the description. There's a lot of links to social medias. There's a link to the podcast version of this thing on SoundCloud and all the other things that we have during the week where I'll review SmackDown Rundown 205 Live. New NXT, not New Japan. <laughs> NXT and Lucha Underground. I try to combine NXT and from NXT and Lucha Underground. New, new, ja, new Japan. New, uh, new, new Japan Underground. Uh, yeah. new Lucha Underground. All that good stuff. That's there. But our things like top fives, prediction videos, and pay per views don't show up over on the play or on the SoundCloud. So you got to come over here on the YouTube to check them out. We got other links. In the description, the important links. And Those we are want all, more. We want more. They're all the independent promotions that we're talking about, and some of the ones we didn't talk about, but we'll talk about in the near future. Uh, we'll like AAW or AAWrestling.com, BeyondWrestlingOnline.com, ChikarPro.com, HouseOfHardcore.net. Don't go to dot com. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a place. That's it. NSFW, Just ProWrestlingGorilla.com, yeah. and. Tons more. We want to keep adding more. So post them in the comments. What wrestling promotions that you like or local wrestling promotions that you want us to highlight. Put it in the comments. Send us links to their Facebook pages, their websites, their YouTube pages, their Instagrams. Something where we can see the product. Put it on the comments below. Send it over uh, as a comment on Facebook. Uh, post There's it. Emails. We got emails. We got two different emails you can use down there. Twitter. We got Twitters. We got all sorts of different ways you can reach us. Let us know who do you it. want to see us talk about on the rundown. Uh, if you do and we like what you see, we'll let the people know. And we'll let the people know you were the one who told us to do it. Exactly. You get a little shout out. Word. I have never said that in my entire life, but I just. Word? Did. Yeah. I'm sure you've said word before. Maybe not, not, that, that context. not in that context. Okay. Like. Uh, also, check out Reasonable Wrestling Fans. Yeah. That's Reasonable with a W. Like wrestling. wrestling. Uh, uh, you went way too fast. I know. Uh, we're going to get all of our YouTube your stuff. We're yeah, gonna, YouTube we're, your, not review your. Yeah, we're, we're going to. I think if I made a resolution for 2017, it's to put more stuff over on that channel. Yeah, we have a whole uh, series that's like waiting to be uploaded. Yeah, yeah we're, uh, we're, we're, we, we've got a couple of them, and they're, they're going to start going up. Um, but yeah. Also, we're, we're behind on the punishment videos. Sue us. Don't uh, really. Uh, it's just. We, one thing after another is weather happening. And Inclement sickness, weather, yes. people being sick, scheduling issues. One of the wrestlers that we had lined up to chop this guy fractured his shoulder. Oh, jeez. Uh, so I was not aware of that, but that's unfortunate. Um, one's mother just passed away. Yeah. So um, yeah, we, it, there, there's a lot going on. Yeah. So we we might just we might just build these motherfuckers up over time and do like one long just punishment video. Or at least one section of recording multiple Pretty much punishment just like videos. torture. It'll be a torture video. It'll be a PG version of Saw. I don't think it'll be anything like that. Well, that might. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching all that stuff. And we'll see you at whatever video you decide to watch next. Fuck Matt Riddle. Stop fucking talking, sick boy.